Shea let the two strangers take the lead since there was really only one way to go. She dropped back so she could walk just in front of Cam and James. Shea, how did you know we were in trouble? James asked. I didn't. Elder Sarkovi sent me because you were late and mist was sighted in the upper reaches. He knew you wouldn't make it back before it covered your path home. Shea picked her way over the uneven trail, checking for snakes and other dangerous animals. I'm not surprised you ran into trouble, though. She stood on a rock and reached back to give Cam a helping hand up. The trail was becoming more difficult. At some time in the distant past, there had been a rock slide. Picking their way through meant having to climb up and over the large boulders blocking the path. Edgecombe's got a bit of a reputation. Would have been nice to know that before we left, James said. Shea grinned. It wasn't a particularly nice grin, more a baring of teeth. I would have, had you bothered to consult me before taking off. My father's been after you to put together an expedition to Edgecombe for months, and I've been telling him it's too dangerous for months. Now you know why. Shea jumped down and turned back to catch Cam if he fell. James supported him as Cam sat and then slid the rest of the way. You should have explained this to my father. Shea put her hands on her hips and caught her breath before looking up at James as he made his own descent. Whether your father and you like it or not, I'm a pathfinder, she told him as she caught him when he started to slide. I'm not required to justify my decisions to you. Shea checked on Cam. He didn't look so good. His face was pale, and he was panting from exertion while she and James were barely winded. What set the edgecombers off? I don't know. Shea gave James a look that said exactly what she thought of that response. I really don't, he said defensively. One moment, they seemed amenable to establishing a trade partnership, and then the next, they were dragging us out of our beds in the middle of the night. Hmm. Cam spoke for the first time. I think it had something to do with the strangers. How so? They kept us apart after we nearly escaped. It's why they beat me. They'd been keeping us in one of their sheds. The wood at the back was rotted. I managed to break it and crawl through. Before James could follow, they spotted me. After that, they kept us in separate areas. I heard talk through my window, and they kept calling us spies. That made no sense. Spies? Why would they think you were spies? I think the other two were discovered outside the village. Stealing horses. The villagers assumed we were there to spot weaknesses our supposed companions could exploit later. <laughs>